Hey YouTube, Keegan here from Tech Shows You, and in today's video, I'll be giving you guys the review of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition camera. Now this is the best camera for you if you want a very small, compact camera that you can take anywhere with you, and that's also very good for action. Now I will note this also includes a waterproof housing, which I do not show in this video, but that's definitely one thing to consider if you're going to buy this camera. Now without further ado, let's get right into the review. The GoPro consists of only two buttons, a shutter button and a mode slash power on and off button. Now the power button is on the front of the camera and you simply hold it down to turn on the camera and it will boot up into whatever mode you have defined as the default. The best feature in my opinion is the Wi-Fi. Now you simply push a button on the side of the camera to enable the Wi-Fi mode and then you can connect to it with either the hardware remote or the app for iOS and Android. In the next clip here, I'll be showing you guys how you connect on my iPad. I simply choose the router network, Keegan's GoPro, which is actually being created by my camera. I can then launch the iPad app, and I can see that my camera is connected under the connect and control option. Once I tap on that icon right there, I can then see a live feed from what the camera is seeing, as well as a settings, a shutter button, and I can also view any media that is stored on the camera. Now this is great for previewing images you've taken because there is no built-in screen on the GoPro itself. Now as I mentioned earlier, the GoPro also includes a hardware remote. Now this remote has two buttons, a shutter button and a mode slash power on button. Once you pair the remote using Wi-Fi the same way as you pair the iPad app, it can then be communicating with the camera and it shows a copy of the camera's display on the remote so you can see what is going on. The GoPro has a very wide angle fisheye lens, which you can see here is protruding from the lens housing slightly. This does mean you need to be very careful with the lens that you don't scratch it as it sticks out from the protective ring. And now onto the slightly more boring stuff. We have a mini USB port on the side for data transfer and charging, as well as a microphone input. We also have a micro HDMI output, which you can allow you to plug it into your TV, and there's also a micro SD card slot for the removable storage. On the back side of the camera, there is a battery door that allows for easy access to the battery in case you need to swap it out, and there is also on the left side a data port for plugging in an LCD display that can plug in, or an external battery pack, which GoPro does offer as an add-on purchase. Here's a test shot that I took on New Year's Eve of some fireworks in San Francisco. I'll go ahead and turn on the audio for you so you can hear exactly how it sounds. This here is a time lapse that I shot from the dashboard of my car. Now if you click on the TSY logo in the top right, you can actually view the full video on the Zoodon Films YouTube channel. This whole video was shot using a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. This camera can shoot in resolutions up to 4K, but at a frame rate of only 15 frames per second. It can shoot at full 1080p HD at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 24 frames per second. So basically this has you covered for all applications that you could possibly need to be recording for. At $400, this model was not cheap, but there are other options available that are cheaper, and in the end, it is definitely worth every penny that you pay for this camera. I hope you enjoyed and found this review useful of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, and I highly recommend that you go out and pick one up for yourself if this is the kind of thing that you're interested in and you think that you would use. This has been Keegan from Tech Shows U, and I will see you next time. Click the video on the left if you'd like to see how to enter our new giveaway that we're doing with 7 decibels to give away two Sabine iPad amplifiers. Click the video on the right if you'd like to see more examples of time lapses shot with the GoPro. You can also use the links below to be taken to our Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus pages, as well as go visit the blog at www.techshowsu.com. And, as always, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Shows You here on YouTube so you can get all of our great content as it becomes available.